<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Medium Kim, and I have guest with me today, Colleen Butcher, and she is coming up into the metaphysical world, and I'd like to introduce everybody to Colleen. She has been a, um, a student for a while, but she's been a student of metaphysics and a student in my classes for uh, since the beginning, pretty much, I think. Um, and I think you started way back, Colleen, back in the 80s or 70s, right, on your metaphysical studies. So the, one of the things we wanna talk about today is color. And so anyway, I just want to introduce you to Colleen. She also is doing readings now. She brings color into her readings. She does soul readings, and, and she's going to show you some examples of some of the things that she does for her readings. And also, we're just going to talk about color today and how, and how we can use it in our everyday life. So welcome, Colleen. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> welcome well to everybody. <laughs> Yes. So I just want to mention um, that we can use color in everyday life. And it's a wonderful intuitive tool. Uh, and I, I have an example. Uh, and I know I've told you, Colleen, and I've told some other people, but I remember once I was at a dentist office. And he, uh, this dentist, whenever he would bring his hands close to my mouth, I would see beautiful colors around him. And I knew he was a healer. And he's the only dentist I have that was like that. And the way I would see the colors, I actually I'd see them in my third eye, but the colors would come whenever his hands would get close to me. And, if, and Colleen, would you imagine, let's just say you're, you've got a hairdresser and they're coming with their hands close to your head and, and you're getting a color that may, let's just say you're getting an angry red. I would run. <laughs> right, <laughs> exactly. So it's a good tool. You know, um, and one of the things that we can learn is how to even see, color, feel, sense, or know colors around people as a symbology for what's going on in, in their life. Um, and I'll, I, I'm, I know we want to share some pictures, but I want to say one other thing that happened to me when I was a nurse. I, I had a patient who, this was years ago, I bet you this was 15, at least 15 years ago. She was on a fentanyl patch, which is a pain medicine. And ever since she'd been on the patch, she was feeling more like she was going to fall. And um, so we thought, okay, well, let's try without the patch. Let's just see if it's the patch doing it. So I took the patch off of her and immediately in my, in my objective eyes, when I'm seeing outside of my eyes, is her auric field turned from gray to blue. And it was just a flash. And it's like, Okay, so that's another tool. See how it just showed up that you knew, I mean, it was an indication to me that the fentanyl was not good for her. Right. So that's a was, good one. It was yeah. instant. It was instant, yeah. which is amazing. So I've also noticed, uh, sorry, I've yeah. also noticed, uh, you know, in some of the classes that when you had us use color and feel into the color, um, that's quite a good tool uh, to use because um, I've actually done a whole reading on color. Um, you know, they presented a color and I, and I, uh, I saw the color, I felt into it. And, um, and the sitter's son who I was reading, that's the way he, you know, I saw orange at first and that was his favorite color and I was feeling into that orange and so I got a lot of information that way and next they showed me something like a plum with a plum color and I, and I felt into that color. So yeah, you can use those tools um, really well. For readings, I, re I use that a lot. I almost always start with the color in my readings, almost always. Wow. Yes. That's and you know, we have, um, we, you can read past, present, future with colors. You can read spirit assessment with colors. You can read love life with colors. I mean, it's just wherever you focus. And I think people are afraid, well, they say, well, I don't know how to see color, but I believe everybody can see color. I mean, or no color. Correct. Uh, and, I know, um, I believe I can help, I think I can help everybody, <laughs> you know, open up to color. Yeah, yeah. I believe you can too. <laughs> <laughs> I 
my dog is dreaming in the background. If you see, she's been having deep dreams like that lately. I so what that's about. I don't know. Maybe this is um, talking about the earth ascension. Who knows? Yeah. So knows that she's deeper. Um, but that reminds me about ascension because as we, I believe we are, you know, I, I think I'm hearing different sources say that we're already in the 4D, maybe some of us are in the 5D. Um, but as we open up spirit, the color of spirit is so much more vibrant than what we see in this 3D world. Have you noticed that? Yes. Yes. And what I've noticed also um, when I'm meditating, um, I see a lot more color after you know, doing the color classes, um, I see a lot more color when I'm out in the universe, when I'm meditating. And that's quite interesting because I feel like now I feel there's a huge connection um, to us and color that I never knew before. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, because our body, yeah, I think we're known by our colors. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I'm getting to know that too. That's correct. Yeah. Spirit world. Um, yeah. I think we're known by our colors, right? I mean, look at the angels. They all have a color. Correct. Our guides, our guides have a color. Yeah. The ETs have a color. That's how we recognize where are the blue ones or the green ones or, or whatever. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. And, Interesting, isn't and it? even the flowers, the color of flowers, there's a symbology with that. So colors really is. And how does it make you feel? yes wearing is different colors the colors that you want around you affects it's all vibration it affects how you feel and and it is a medicine i believe color is a medicine just like there's energy medicine colors and energy so color is a medicine for our bodies just yes. like light you know and i know back egyptian times and before color was really big for healing yes I believe that. And I can, I can see that. Uh, I can see that now everywhere. Um, that, that is a, a fact. And, and it's interesting to me. Um, I'm not a, um, you know, I don't do healings, but the, when someone is asked, I have, you know, sent them healing and it's interesting. Um, the color combinations, even that um, I'm asked to put on those people now. That's interesting to me. It's a, it's a whole new world, really. Yeah, it is a whole new world. It's really an old world. We're just opening it up again. Yeah, an old whole new world for me. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. okay. yeah, yeah. And I agree with you on that because I'm guided as well to have layers of colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And lately, I, it's not a big secret, but lately I've been using the galactic healers to come. And, and it's very interesting, the galactic healers come in a certain color, but they offer the color that they're coming in. Let's say green, you know, I see the green ones and they come and they bring green. Then they then I see the pink ones and they come and they bring pink. It's really interesting. Oh, ah, interesting, yeah. And there is definitely layers and layers that they bring. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Oh. And so I, I think it's a fun, you know, and we, in, in our, in our color class, I wanted to show you some pictures that we've done, you know, um, because, you know, if we we're going to talk about our color class, which I just want to plug it in, we, we do have a color class coming Monday, <laughs> starting Monday. <laughs> um, but we, it's fun and it is um, amazing as well. And you don't have to have a, any background in color at all, or you don't have to be an artist, but I, I want to just show you some of the things that we do in color class. Is that okay, Kelly? Sure. And I sure. did one of you uh, last, I, I think this might've been a month or two ago. And so what, what we do when we're working with somebody and we want to say, do a picture. Now, not, we don't do this every time in color class, but we do this sometimes. Um, we, we imagine, or we just pick a color that we're called to. Oh, I, okay, right now, I mean, I'm, as, I'm, as I'm working with you right now, Colleen, I feel green around you. I feel green blue, actually. I feel like as I'm in, a, in the way I'm getting this green blue with you, it is a more of a kind of a little bit of a mind's eye, a little bit of a knowing and a little bit of a, like I can see it around you. It's like a combination of the way I'm getting it. It's not like I see, I'm only just seeing it objectively. It's a combination for me. 
but I feel like it's a waving a little bit. Like I have a like green and blue. I don't know how to explain it, but they're in waves with each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I also see a pink. Okay, the pink I'm getting with you now, Colleen, is coming from your throat and it's going out. And you know, if I'm feeling into these colors, I feel the green is about a healer. I know you're a, re a little bit reluctant, <laughs> <laughs> but healing, he you know, it doesn't have to be hands-on healing, right? Because your art, your readings, those are all healing. That's healing work. And you, and you are expressing yourself with unconditional love, like love. So I see this like this tunnel almost of pink coming out mm. of your um, throat. And it's mm. and this is a wave too. Everything's in a wave today for me. Um, I also am noticing, just real, if this is okay to say, um, a, a yellow, a yellow kind of a spot that's going over to your right side a bit. And I feel like this is where spirit is coming in uh, for you. Uh -huh. But the, the blue is about your, your clairvoyance and your mediumship skills. And the green is your healer. So, so anyway, those are the colors that I'm seeing when I'm just tuning in. And if I was doing a picture, I would put that on a picture, but we can also do a different kind of a picture where it'd be more like an, I call it an orograph. That's an, or, well, an orograph. And it was not exactly like, here's one I did for you last month. And so it doesn't at all look like what we just talked about, but there was a real sense of when I did this. Now, see, I kind of don't remember right now everything. Oh, growth. Here's a green for growth. I do remember this. And then, oh, and he, oh, I do remember this being like humans. Like, okay. Um, okay. Now I kind of get remembering some of what I did. This, there's an orange here that you can't tell that it's orange. This is like new beginnings for you, but there's also an animal feel here of new beginnings. And this is very much spirit, like tuning into the spirit world. I know this is kind of a, a blue blob there, but that's what I felt like. And the way I did this, I just got one color first. And I said, where is it leading to me? Where is it leading me? And you have to throw out everything you ever knew about what a color meant. And you just go with what it means at that moment, feeling into it. Would you, what do you think, Colleen? I think that's great. I like it. There, and everybody is different in how they do it, right? When I, uh, I chose to do mine on, I just happened to have actually when we were in the class is some black paper and I had pastels because uh, I did life drawing um, in my life before. And so I just started using those and uh, how I did it was, yeah, I would just um, put down one, be prompted to use a color and put down some kind of a, uh, mark on the paper and uh, then build on it and say what I the impression the feeling that came with it or whatever and so gradually I would turn it you know bit by bit into maybe something like this that um, that had a had I'd be talking to people about each separate line I put in there was a reason I'd be prompted to that sometimes maybe one over here would be an indication of a child maybe they have one child or you know this one there's a little tiny bicycle down here and that that's about moving slowly through something or or maybe I, I can't remember this one I did it might had something to do with being a child or you know something like that but so they're all different. I never know when I do them um, how they're going to turn out. Actually, I never know what colors just one by one that I'm asked to do and um, and tell the story as I go along. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's so interesting that we all have our own unique style. Correct. Yeah. Yes. And your yeah, style, that's certainly I don't true. know, you, yours is very unique. And also, it reminds me of geometric shapes. It could be ancient symbols. Um, you could be getting, yeah, ancient symbols, could even be tarot symbols, could be astrology. So talk about that, Colleen. 
Yes, because I have, well, I think I'm going to, I think I'm in the midst of going to change these um, and have them more like a Mandela. Um, and I, because I've been getting flashes of different symbols in my meditations and that. And um, I, I feel like, yes, they're going to come forward. And so like everything else in this world, it evolves and hopefully grows, right? And, um, and that's what I feel that's going to happen here as I feel like I'm going to start using different symbols um, just for the person that I'm reading at the time, right? Yeah, this is how what I feel is going to happen the way I'm going and so it'll be like a little Mandela for the the person and we'll see how that goes and I haven't only knows maybe a month down the line it'll be something else right it's just it just keeps evolving beautiful I yeah. love that of course we want to keep evolving this is the year to me this year is big evolving for so many of us correct um yeah, I can see you, you, how special. And you could give your pictures as a gift. You could even have a frame. You know what I mean? I, to, I mean, all these could be. I know, I see people People uh, always say, oh, they loved it. I, the, these aren't, I don't think of them as really frameable stuff. I usually email them because uh, I'm in Canada and everyone else is in the US and it's quite expensive to to ship you know and these are pastels so they probably get all smudged so I usually email them and so you can have a picture of them yourself right but, uh, yeah yeah and then you talk about what it means because if you saw it later and I'm going to show you another one of mine and then I'd like to see another one of yours too since we're I've got another one and this is from we did it in our class as well and oh, this wow. This is, and I think it's okay if I share, it. this is Ron and, you know, Ron of unconditional love. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now he's got an angel here. I felt, I, like, see I felt like that was, I know if I remember right, either his mom or a name, I can't remember now at the time, but this mm -hmm. is what I'll just tell you real interestingly, his wife, I, I know he was so, he's so supported. And every time I did a circle. I just kept thinking how much he and his wife has such a wonderful connection and he's filled up, she has filled up all this, all the spaces for his, in his life. And that's oh. what these little circles were that she's filled up all the spots. And then he's got definitely an angel here. And anyway, that's so I, yeah, so that was Ron. That's, that was a cool fun? one. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was great. Yeah. Do you have another one? I bet you he really liked that also, right? Yeah. Yes. Do you have another one you want to share? Oh, well, I have this one I did. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Can yes. you see this? Yeah, go over uh, a little bit to the toward this. Yeah, like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I did this one um, when I was getting some uh, healing work done from somebody. They just had me um actually dr gail was doing some work with me and she had me take my pastels and she told me the colors to use when i was doing it i wasn't really i was really listening to her but and doing these as she went along and that was the end result so i don't know there's just an infinite uh amount of difference that you could do with each and every one of these and I don't always, some of these, like, um, you know, some of them have a lot more, look at this one. This one has a lot more uh, color and I've forgotten now what these actually mean, but you know, the blue is usually an indication of their spirituality for me. Um, and I think, I I can't even tell you now. I think this person did have three kids, though, which um, there was three things there. Um, a lot of times there's the center part is is to do with the main thrust in their life, you know, the main color. And uh, then 
what comes in is, is maybe there's something new that they're learning. And, and this was a big new thing, a creative thing that she was working on this big square of, of orange. Um, she was huge on um, animals, loved the animals and uh, was learning. Uh, this yellow to me is, is all about learning or one of the things. And so I can always see that. I, I've done a few teachers with, that's the first big strong uh, line I use is the yellow because they're, they're uh, you know, teachers. Yes, yes, I see the yellow too. For that. Uh, in, in the York field for teachers as well. Yeah. I show you another one here. Um, this is a just, I'll just, this is another. Um, obviously, this is around uh, love and growth and, you know, reaching out to the universe. And, you know, there's a lot of nature. For me, it was nature and love and growth. And, you know, then there's a whole spirit thing here. So, I mean, each thing is so unique and interesting. And I mean, I'll, I'll show you, a, I'll show you a, or a different kind of a picture that I did too. This is just more, um, when I look, when I'm just doing plain around somebody, you know, when, I, when yeah. I'm saying, you know, I mean, I'm saying plain isn't the right word when I'm doing just the auric field versus right. an orograph. Yes. Yes. And then, our, and, and also in our class, you know, we, we, we do all sorts of, we don't all, all only do orographs either. Uh, we, well, tell, tell them what. Yeah. Do. Yeah. So I like to start out with, we just learned, first of all, how to sense color in somebody's auric field, right. how to sense the color and what does it mean? So feeling into it. So using your psychic senses, even if you've never even used your psychic senses before, I promise I can help you <laughs> learn your psychic senses and and um, tuning into a person and feeling the colors around them. You know, it could be a feel, a no. You could even hear. Some people taste the colors. So you just right. don't until you try, you know, don't say, oh, I can't see the color, you know. But so so that's how we usually start is um, sensing colors around somebody. And we often will also since guides and angels around each other and those come in in color as well mm -hmm. correct um, something else that we do we have done a variety of things with color we've done color healing in our color class and um, we might have one day of the month that we do that where we work with each other and since again you sense the field and since what could use a boost and then correct. intuit the color that needs to be sent and just sit with that color, breathe that color, because when you know when we breathe in a color, even when we do it together as a as a because that makes it more powerful. If two people are doing it together versus just one person, that does even bring more power to that color, more healing. Mm -hmm. Correct, and it does make it it does make a huge difference doing it together, and you can definitely feel the difference in working with a group. Um, the energy is so much greater when you're working with the group, right? And mm -hmm. somehow, um, somehow when you get into that mode, um, you know, your spirit guides are come through uh, a lot. Um, e I don't want to say, I don't know about easier, but yeah, with ease. I, yeah, it is with ease, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I agree. I also feel like it, people may think they cannot connect with spirit guides, but it's easier to connect with other people's spirit guides first. Correct. And so um, it's a good way to start with that. Connecting with spirit guides, you connect with your partner's spirit guides. Right, right. Yeah. So, of course, I, I'm sold on uh, anything that, <laughs> that we do in that class because it's just right up my alley. <laughs> well, and we can do, do so many things with color because, and I truly, I know that color is the future. And yes, we, that's the other thing. That's true. It is. The, I feel that. I feel that um, there, I feel like we're going to be doing uh, much more healing with color. I feel like if if we're all going to be able to heal ourselves, I think um, the more we know about 
using color the better too, right? Because oh, yes. yeah. Uh, even even the even the the five elements that in the Chinese medicine wheel, they all have a color. Right. You no. Know? Um, and or look at even the color of the shamanic medicine wheel. The shaman's medicine wheel has colors. And there's a so there's a feeling and a reason that people that they use color to represent you know a, an emotion, represent an energy. It's an energy. Right. And I remember one of the first times I ever saw color around people, I was like, oh my gosh, I was really. I was blown away, honestly. And I know we all have color. I don't see it like that every, all the time. I mean, I'm not, since that day, not nearly that intense, but I had a really intense, about a week of it, um, where I was opened up all of a sudden to seeing color. It, it didn't, you know, like I said, it didn't last, but I was seeing so much that I didn't see you. I mean, the color was so thick. I really couldn't see your face. You know what I wow. mean? It was wow. that thick. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. Now I wonder what that was about then that it only lasted a week or so. Well, the I was I was receiving a healing. Oh. And, and um, you know, I oh yeah, that'd be great, but to to have it last. But at least I know I it was a learning for me that everything is color and right. everything is a vibration. Like it, at that same time, everything was vibrating. Every little thing I look at, an uh, in, inanimate object, I could see the vibration. Ooh, so there nice. was, you know, it's so. Um, anyway, but it, but I just know there that we are. And if it wasn't for that, I don't know. You know, if I would have um, believed that we are so intense, I know our spirit is an intense color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I there is definitely a lot in color. That's for sure. I'm convinced of that. I mean, I always really liked color as, uh, you know, because I painted, but uh, not like, not like I, I didn't, and I felt like I knew color, but I was coming from an artist's um, standpoint, right? Um, not from the other, uh, uh, an emotional and a feeling and a, you know, uh, a psychic kind of a standpoint I didn't know anything about it that way yeah, yeah yeah and I always remember you know didn't Johnny Cash write this song that why don't I wear colors on my back what was it oh man in black why don't I wear a lot of colors on my back why am I not dressed in white what well, I'm gonna keep wearing black and so I can um I don't stand up for the fighting man or something like that. I don't remember the words exactly. But it, was, it was a big deal for him. I mean, even Johnny Cash knew colors meant something. <laughs> and Johnny Cash, didn't he always wear black? <laughs> the man in black. Yeah. yeah right. Uh, I don't know where a rainbow on my back or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, well, yeah. Well, thank you, Colleen, so much. Is there anything else that you want to add to our no, viewers? I don't think of anything uh, right now, anyway. So I'll probably think of a lot after. <laughs> well, we can always do this again. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for being here. I do want to just um, thank you for being a wonderful partner in color, and um, I, pr I appreciate you sharing your your story. And I appreciate you, you know, as a friend. And so thank you so much. And I'm going to put your information below and also put information for the color class that starts on Monday too. All righty. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Namaste.